What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about the current situation of the jailbreak for iOS 11.x and iOS 10.3.x. And we're going to also discuss about the currently signed iOS versions, since there are quite a lot of them and a lot of people are not sure on which version they should stay. So let's begin. I'm going to start with the fact that if you're new to this KingLab new jailbreak for iOS 11.1.1, uh, demo, you should go ahead and check out this video in here and this one in here in which I talked about the uh, jailbreak that has been demonstrated by KingLab at POC just a couple days ago. They have pretty much jailbroken the new iPhone 10, and uh, that's been on iOS 11.1.1 and 11.1 since 11.1.1 and 11.1 share the same security content. That's awesome, but apparently the jailbreak might remain private. It's been created by Lion Chen and the same as the previous KingLab jailbreak, it might never be published. Now, um, somebody on Reddit made a quite interesting post in here and uh, uh, they pretty much detailed what happened at POC 2017 and what has the King Lab presented at the POC. He pretty much managed to make a very, very good uh, summary of the uh, King Lab iOS 11.1.1 jailbreak presentation. So if you're interested in seeing whatever has uh, gone at that presentation, or if you wanna see what has been uh, going on with the King Lab, you can go ahead and read this on Reddit jailbreak. I'm going to link it in the description down below. But as I say, this jailbreak might not be published and um, with good reason. Now, the uh, vulnerabilities in here apparently will not be shared with Apple for the moment according to the uh, summary made by, by this guy in here, but um, KingLab might be trying to collect you know more vulnerabilities and send them in bulk to Apple. Now, that is not really uh, proven. It's less likely we will ever know what happens to this jailbreak, whether they keep it private or whether they share the vulnerabilities with Apple, but it might remain unpublished. But uh, I know a lot of you will, will say, you know, uh, KingLab is bad, KingLab will not publish it, and KingLab should uh, exit the jailbreak community, as you said in the previous video's comment section. See, um, they pretty much have proven the fact that iOS 11.1.1 and indeed the new iPhone 10 can be jailbroken. So if you're on iOS 11, the battle is not lost just yet. Now, somebody else might find the same vulnerabilities and exploit them and pretty much create a jailbreak in the future, so do not worry. Now, if you're on iOS 10, it's better to stay there. The iOS 10.2.x and the iOS 10.3.x might be better in the future for a jailbreak, but iOS 11 might not be as bad as it sounds. Now, if you take a look in here at the currently signed versions, you can see that iOS 11.0.1 to iOS 11.1.1 are currently signed. And if you add up the iOS 11.2 beta 3 that is currently signed for developers that is not presented in here, you have six different versions currently signed, which is quite a big number of firmers and uh, it's definitely not usual for Apple to sign so many different versions at the same time. And if you take a look on the iPhone 6s, if we go ahead in here and go to the iPhone 6s, let me, let me see it the um, 7 and the 6s is in here, you can see that iOS 10.3.3 is also signed to this date. Now iOS 10.3.3 has been created in July and it's still signed as of November, which is quite astonishing, but it's only signed on the iPhone 6s, not the 6s Plus, not the 6 and not any other device that is on 64-bit. So um, if you're on iOS 11.x on your iPhone 6s and you want to go back to iOS 10, you can go back to iOS 10.3.3 currently while it's still signed and I definitely recommend you to do so. And um, you can you can go ahead and uh, press in here and download it for your device. You're going to download the IPSW that you can restore with iTunes in recovery mode. So it's definitely possible to downgrade your iPhone 6s back to iOS 10.3.3. Is the only device that can still downgrade to this uh, version, which is quite nice. So, um, yeah, you can definitely go ahead and do that. And uh, since there are a lot of firmwares being signed currently, and for the iPhone 6s, there are seven different firmwares currently being signed, 
you should probably go ahead and save your blobs with the TSS saver created by um, one Conan. The link is in the description down below. You might find these blobs pretty useful in the future, so definitely save them for later use. Now, that's pretty much it with the current situation of the jailbreak. Lion Chain is probably not going to publish that jailbreak, and um, although it looks quite interesting, and although I'm pretty sure the uh, vulnerabilities can be found by somebody else, iOS 11 remains not jailbroken publicly for the moment. But um, it's good to see that the iOS 11 can be jailbroken and even the iPhone 10 with its new uh, bionic chip and its new security and stuff like that. So um, it's definitely possible. Somebody will do it in the future, I'm pretty sure. So do not update past iOS 11.1. Now um, you can update to iOS 11.1.1 though, because they share the same security content. And the reason for that is that iOS 11.1.1 pretty much fixed is the weird autocorrect bug where the letter I would be changed with um, a question mark and some other stuff. So you can go ahead and update to fix that bug, but do not update to iOS 11.2. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching, do not forget to go ahead and subscribe to stay updated, when you're subscribing go ahead and also press this bell in here and check this box so that you can receive notifications when I'm posting a video and stay updated. This video has been made possible by Dr. Phone, a product of Wondershare which helps keeping your iPhone, iPad or iPod touch in shape. They provide tools for repairing or recovering data data transfer, backup and restore, and even erasing your device. So definitely a very big toolbox, and um, if you have problems with your device, you want to repair it, or if you want to recover lost photos or lost contacts or lost data from your device, they have the right tools for that. I have tested this program in the past, and I have even reviewed it in the past, and it's definitely a very powerful tool. And uh, also we have a coupon that you can check out in the description down below that you can use to get $5 off when you purchase the program, which is quite good. And it also has a free trial so that you can use it to see if you can recover any data before you use it and of course before you pay for it. So definitely check it out, at least the free trial. It's quite interesting, so you might want to check it out. Thanks for watching again, guys. I'm Gio Snow. Peace out.